Hi guys, this is Allie with Chaos Monkey, and I am doing the Mary Maxim unboxing for January, um, I should say 2021, and this I believe is probably the knit kit, because I, I remember I try to remember every month which one comes first, I think the knit kit comes first, the crochet kit, oh I can't speak, the crochet kit comes like a week to a week and a half later, so. Ooh, I've used this yarn before. This is the, um, I know what this is. My brain's not working, but I know what this is. And I've actually used this yarn for a cable hat before, the irony. Ooh, but this is brioche cable hat. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's check it out. This is definitely a brand name yarn. I know this. Let me see. I bought a whole bunch, like, way back. Pantone, Karen Pantone. Karen, that's who does these. And it's the Pantone, and they're in mini skeins, which is weird for the solids. I, you know what I mean? I'm like, why don't they just do the solids solid? But they do them in the minis, too. And then here's the color one. And this colorway is... It is Purple Pops. Yes, purple pops, looks like, and then you can see the color combinations. So we got two skeins of the Karen Pantone, one in a cream, which is called coconut cream, and one in purple pops, which is weird because there's not there's some colors that are definitely not purple in here. And this is pink, and there's one purple. But, okay, whatever. So this is like a light pink into a mauve pink into a purple into a mustard yellow into a really dark teal blue green green blue and the pattern is for a cabled brioche hat I don't think I like the colors these two I mean why why did they do that why was that why is that why did they jar those together I guess if depending on how you put the colors together I think you can make it transition a little See, this one goes against the lighter, and then, well, no, they just worked it this way, versus this way, and the color changes. I think they did one of each to kind of show you. Anyway, uh, I don't I don't know how I feel about those colors, you guys. You let me know how you feel about the adding these two into these pinks and purples, because that is a very weird choice. Um, I might have to, it might have to grow on me, but right off the bat, I'm kind of, hmm, especially when you see it with the brioche. I like the brioche because you do get to see, like, it's two layered, so you can see the, the cream coming through from the underlayer, and the top layer is the color, but I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about these two colors in there. And if there's any other info I can give you, I think they're just letting you know how to use the Karen Pantone, because again, these are all individual little hanks, and so they're just letting you know that you have to pull them apart and ball them up somehow. Um, oh, here's another picture. Here you guys go. And it is definitely in the knit kit, because that's, that's knitting for the brioche. So, interesting. Uh... Circular needles, size 8, size 10, double points, probably for the top of the hat. I'm working bottom up, I'm assuming. And there's nothing else in here just to show you how to do them and how to make a pom-pom. So, no big. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it is a good yarn. It is definitely a good yarn. I've used it before in a completely different color. I made a cable hat. Um, the cable hat, however, if I remember correctly, with one skein or one hank, ended up being a little on the small side, so it ended up being child size. Um, I think I, I think I might have sold it in the shop, quite honestly. I think I did. But it came out really pretty. Um, it was really amazing, but it was just smaller. So to, with the two colors plus brioche, brioche really adds a lot of fabric. So this should definitely make an adult hat with no problem. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the colorway. This. I think mostly what's getting me is this color. I'm not really a yellow person or a red person, per se, and this yellow-green is is what's bothering me the most. So if you took that out, I'm thinking, here, I like that a lot better. It's just that one color. I think that's what's getting me, is just that one color. 
but of course I'm probably going to need all the yardage. And this yarn is a very, it's, um, oh, I didn't tell you what it was made out of. Hold on. 60% acrylic, 20% nylon, 20% merino wool. 100 gram skeins, 127 yards total. And that's with all of these little guys. Um, and it's considered a number, a size 5 bulky. Uh, I do remember that it's, it feels slick. I don't think it was splitty to work with. And it is a bulky, which is probably why one skein made a child size. You know what I mean? Which is understandable. And then two skeins working together with brioche, which is, like I said, extra stretchy, no problem on the sizing. It's just, can I get away with maybe eliminating that color? And I don't think I can, because you can see um, you're going to need it to get to the top. Because those little, these by themselves aren't that much yardage. You're probably bored out of your mind. But anyway, here's the Knit Club. And I'll try to price the yarn. I think these, when they first came out, were kind of expensive. Nobody was buying them. Nobody was trying them out, especially with the mini hanks, if you're not used to having to pull stuff off and ball it. Um, that was turning people off way back. And then people started to like it only when it went on sale. I remember that. People were trying it once it went on sale because they were really overcharging. Um, probably because it had a little bit of wool in it, the 20%. But they were charging, like, a lot, if I remember. I can't remember. I won't throw prices out, but it was ridiculous. So whenever it went to, like, 50%, like on Michael's and stuff, then people were snapping it up. So, anyway, I'll try to find a decent retail price just to kind of give you an idea as to how much the, the, the skeins, the hanks, go for now um, for the price point. Oh, and then if you're new to the club, this is Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim has a crochet and a knit club uh, that they do monthly. Um, the price for me, and I live in Washington State, is $14.99 for the kit itself. So it's $14.99 for the kit and the pattern, but then they get you on shipping, and the shipping is $7.95 for me. And I know the shipping can potentially vary depending on where you are in the country. All right, you guys, that's it. This is the Mary Maxim knit kit for January 2021 and when the crochet kit comes in I will do that unboxing as well. All right you guys I hope everybody's doing well. I will talk to you later. Bye.